my name is Adam, and I'm um, going to present to you my thesis project, Beit. Um, Beit means house or home in Egyptian, a new form of housing in Cairo. And I did my thesis project at Settlement Ecology and Tectonics here at the school. Um, this picture uh, is from my uh, stu study trip to Cairo. Uh, and it really encapsulates the housing situation in Cairo today, where you have this big um, cemetery that people have moved into uh, or are squatting in due to the massive lack of housing, and the um, informal housing structures in the background, um, where you can see here how dense and enclosed um, they live today, um, and, and that kind of typology. Uh, my my thesis started in October, uh, October last year, where I went to Cairo to see how they modernized the Nubian architecture. Um, and I took, uh, I worked with two uh, housing pro or two projects, um, Ramses Wisha Washif Art Center, uh, and Haram City outside of Cairo, which is the first social housing project in. Uh, Egypt, uh, but the problem with Haram City is that it's located outside of Cairo, and I wanted to make some sort of uh, uh, another type of, of social housing project inside the city. So my investigation was um, formulated like this: Cairo is a mega city with many challenges. Two of, them, two of the challenges the project investigates is the massive lack of affordable housing. The other is the air pollution due to uh, burning of rice straw every harvest. Therefore, the project investigates the potential use of rice straw as a primary building material. Uh, so why is this relevant? By 2030, uh, it's estimated that Cairo will, Cairo's population will grow to four point, uh, with 4.6 4, uh, million people. And how are, we gonna, um, how are we gonna house all of these new inhabit inhabitants? Uh, another factor that's quite relevant for uh, dealing with Egypt and Cairo is the climate. It's very hot and dry uh, the most of the year. Uh, so I wanted to see how I could use low tech um, functions to, or means to um, cool down the, the built environment by using air and, uh, and water systems. Um, and f uh, lastly, the rice straw. Uh, rice is uh, mainly produced north of Cairo, um, but due to that there's no, um, there's no, uh, the fact that there's there's no um, uh, no value for the rice straw after the harvest, uh, it gets burnt. So I wanted to see how it could be directly incorporated into the built environment, so the life cyclists for the rice straw would not just stop at the burning, but could be used as either thatching or um, fiber composite plates. Um, so I wanted to have this strategy of how to uh, build these, this new typology. So I, um, I subjected it into a region, um, um, the region specific and the site specific. Uh, and that um, formulated into two uh, models. Um, a horizontal model uh, where the, uh, where the, uh, the structure, the base structure is, is, uh, uh, is if, um, not flexible and, um, or the, the base structure is, is static and, and the, the roof and the, and the uh, wall is flexible. Um, and again, another model that, that has these wind catchers and the f flexible structure is expanded between these wind catchers. Um, yes, and due to my site, which is the the um, um, the informal market in Cairo, I wanted to see how different types of marketplaces 
could um, could uh, manifest itself into my site uh, and how the build environment is used in uh, different types of marketplaces. And I also looked at how the uh, how different sequences during the day is played out uh, repeatedly. And I noticed that the prayer is uh, done four, five times a day. So that became a focal point in my further design. So I had these four uh, elements I wanted to work with. Different family constellations, room for prayer, uh, in and outside climate uh, areas or zones, and uh, room for uh, the market and, uh, and different types of occupations. So my site is uh, the, informal, um, the informal market in Cairo. And, uh, and it's located right next to Mount Mokattam, which separates uptown and downtown Cairo. And it's located, um, or the map shows its relation to the Nile and to the uh, other um, informal marketplaces in, in, uh, in, uh, in Cairo. So an inzoom on my site with my design, um, des uh, design in it. And on the west side, of my site, uh, I've mentioned that there's this big, uh, big cemetery where people have moved in due to the the need of of housing, um, and it really inspired me to see how these rooms that were uh, obviously meant for the dead, how they were started to become rooms for the living. Um, and how they used one room for many purposes. Um, yeah, so my site is this uh, informal marketplace where people come and trade and, uh, and repair their, their objects. Um, and it's this very uh, almost temporary uh, area in Cairo where these Temporary structures house all of these objects that are uh, sold afterwards. Um, so I placed two uh, workshop pavilions on each side, on the north and the and the south side of the site. And in between them, I placed these wind catchers. Um, as you can see here, there's these wind catchers uh, in the middle, and uh, the the workshop pavilions on each side and Mount Mukattam in the background. And um, I placed these palm trees in the, in the area to make shade and also cool down the, um, the area. And furthermore, it, it kind of enhances the, the uh, concept that it's almost this palm forest. Um, yes, yeah, so this was the, the housing um, concept model. So the housing concept model is, or the housing, uh, the housing, um, uh, con yeah, the the, uh, the housing concept is is based on uh, a basement cistern, which has water in it, and this water cools down the the wind that's catched from the wind catchers, and this area I saw more as a as a space for prayer. Um, where the water is fe fed by this canal uh, and into this basin. Um, and on the ground floor, there's these exhibition plinths where you can exhibit your material or your products. Um, and it's an open area where you can go from different uh, areas from the site and, and um, make another flow, f flow from, the, from the primary um, walking street. Um, and this is a look down through the, through the uh, housing clusters. And this wall that separates um, the, the housing cl clusters from the, from the other um, market site. Uh, so these wind catchers takes the hot wind and pulls it down to the Sistana uh, and cools the, uh, the housing uh, units on them. 
and this is how I visioned that they would look, that they were um, made of tile and, and with this um, steel, um, uh, th this steel uh, stencil. Um, and each of these towers have, have this vertical circulation um, that leads up to the, uh, the housing units. And in the periphery, there is these, uh, this, these wind, cat, uh, wind columns uh, that do the same uh, as the wind catchers, but they uh, are also structurally how the, the different um, housing units are statically in place. So I have these decks and these um, uh, wall units or modules, and they are the wall units are made out of uh, rice straw bundles that are um, uh, attached to this frame, and likewise, uh, these decks are made out of um, uh, rice straw fiber composite plates. Um, yeah, so these three types of, of uh, family, family constellations where you could add uh, each um, uh, more room if your family grows or you suddenly have more money uh, through, the, uh, through the market. Uh, and this is really how I saw that I wanted to make something as flexible to be able to um, to really encapsulate the fact that it is just module-based uh, systems that were um, placed on these uh, structures. Uh, yes, and this is the north facade where you can see the thatched wall um, uh, wall in between these uh, wind columns uh, and the section. Um, where you see the, the, the wind columns go down to the Sistane. Uh, and again, the western uh, facade with uh, fiber composite plates. Um, and again, uh, the section where you see how the wind is catched from the, from the north and drawn down to the Sistane and cools the, the uh, housing units. Yeah, that was it for me.